Do we still recommend the Anderson Hitch after ours warped? And do we still like the RV mattress after sleeping on it for four months? And what the heck is going on with our roof after we ripped it last year? That and more, next. Welcome to the channel, I'm Paul. And I'm Liz, and we have been full-time RVers for four years, and we get asked all the time, well, give us an update. Do you still like some of the stuff you've talked about in previous videos? Well, the answers may surprise you. The first thing we want to talk about is RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We had a little bit of a learning curve with that mattress, <laughs> so let's talk about, about that a little bit. We got a soft mattress right from the get, because I, I pushed for a soft mattress. Well, let me back up a little bit. I had always heard that if you have a, a bad back, I have a, a bad back from an old motorcycle injury, and my back is always, if I stand for long periods of time, my back is just starts aching. I've always been told that you don't want to sleep on a soft mattress with a bad back. I have avoided getting a soft mattress, but this time I was just, okay, I'm going to try it. I don't care what everybody says. I'm just going to try it. Well, so what we had before was an upgraded mattress. If you're new to the RV world, know that the RV mattresses, no matter what RV you get, no matter how much you spend, the RV mattresses are generally not good. We'd already upgraded our mattress and it had been a couple years and it was a firm. Mm -hmm. I always had firm. So now we go for soft, and there was a little bit of a learning curve. The first week, I noticed that, you know, it just was it felt too squishy. But the thing was, every morning I'd wake up with no pain. Now, for the last many decades, I'm 59, I figured it's normal to wake up sore. It's normal to have your neck sore, right? It's normal for your shoulders and your hips to be sore. For us, the soft mattress really made all the difference. Yeah, I don't wake up with any aches or pains at all. I attribute it to the mattress because with the old firm mattress, I was waking up with a sore neck or a sore, sore hip. And here's the thing that I didn't know that I learned through Brooklyn Bedding that makes RV Mattress is there's actually a chart to help you decide if you want soft, medium, or firm. And it's based on the way you sleep and how much you weigh. And we didn't know that, and we found that very helpful. So what we have is the Aurora Lux Hybrid. It's a 13 and a half inch deep mattress. And what do we recommend with that mattress? Well, you're gonna need deep pocket sheets. Uh, the fitted sheet's gonna have to be a deep pocket, otherwise it's just not gonna go over the corner. One of the many benefits about Brooklyn Bedding is that with their RV mattress line, they do offer queen short, king shorts, you know, the, the shorter mattresses that are made for RVs. So that's great. Another thing is that all mattresses are made in the U.S. and they will ship to your door. The way you're going to receive this mattress is in a, in a box. It's pretty heavy. You're going to probably need two people to move it into your bedroom or into your RV. Then you take it out of the box and you unroll it and take the uh, shrink wrap that they put around it and it's going to puff up pretty quickly. And it's so easy because the fact that it does ship in a box, if you're full-time RVers like us, you can have it sent to you on the road. And if you need one of these for your home, Brooklyn Bedding has a line for your home too. So Brooklyn Bedding has a 120 night sleep guarantee. If you want to use our special link, which is rvmattress.com slash Liz Amazing, and then enter in the code Liz Amazing and you will get 20% off your mattress. And we want to thank Brooklyn Bedding RV Mattress for sponsoring this video today. Our next update is about the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. This has gotten a lot of comments on our channel. We used the Anderson Ultimate for three years of full timing. And honestly, I was the one that bought the hitch and I loved it because it allowed me to hitch up by myself. Mm -hmm. I was a solo RVer for a year before meeting Paul. I would never have purchased a fifth wheel if it weren't for the Anderson Ultimate. I had a fifth wheel in the past with a traditional hitch and it was a pain in the you know what. It took forever to hitch and unhitch and was definitely a two person process. This makes it so easy. It's only 35 pounds. You can take it in and out super quick. But we had a thing with the warping. Talk yeah, about that. Yeah, it did warp. We don't know why, but it, it did warp. We called Anderson and all they wanted was what? They wanted the address to ship a new one. Yep, and they shipped it overnight because we were not gonna be at this location very long. Oh, I should also add they wanted a photo, which we sent them a photo oh, yeah, yeah. of it warping. Mm -hmm. I wanna just say that Find a company that will give you a free $1,000 hitch three years after using the hitch. I mean, I, you know, most of them are like, see you, bye. 
Yeah, they stand behind their product. There's no question about it. Let me talk about the, the controversy out there. There's a video out here on in YouTube land from a couple that, that do RV lifestyle videos. And they made a comment that, that really kind of set me off. They talked about it's made out of aluminum, an inferior metal. Well, I guess that means you don't want to get on a commercial airliner because every plane, look up in the sky, every commercial airliner up there is made out of aluminum. <laughs> I think I need to put steam out of your ears. <laughs> But that's true. I mean, we hear that. Oh, those hitches, you know, they're aluminum. Ooh, you know? Yeah. One of the things I did with the old hitch, I cut one of the supports just to see what it was made out of. I, was, I wanted to see how thick the wall was on this thing. It's very robust. Again, I don't know what caused the warpage on ours. Now, honestly, we may revisit this if it starts warping every month. The only change that we had had is we bought a new truck, which meant, you know, a new bed. And, we, you know, we don't know if, if there was anything that that's related at all. So we will keep you posted. And the answer is we do recommend the hitch. Yeah. We love it. It makes RV life easier in so many ways. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about this one because I'm less happy than I was when we first talked about this. And that's why I think it's really important that we do regular updates and we keep you updated. So we did a video about four months ago about Visible. Visible is a cell service that's owned by Verizon and they offer some very, very reasonable plans. It's unlimited talk, text, and data. And the plan that we got was $25 a month after we did the party plan discount. The original mm -hmm. price was $40. You got $15 off for doing this party pay. So we're paying $25 a month. But here's the caveat that we learned. That plan, which was called Visible Unlimited, actually does not include roaming. Roaming means if Verizon doesn't have coverage, well, then they share lines with AT&T or T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. This did not affect us in month one or two, but in month three, <laughs> we were in Door County, Wisconsin, and apparently AT&T is king there. So we had or no- T -Mobile. Or T-Mobile. Or T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile owns that space up there. Somebody does that's not Verizon. Yeah. So we had no cell service, and we didn't have it in our campground, and we were driving along Door County, and we're in these little towns, no cell service. And I said, something's not right here. That's where we learned that there was no roaming for the plan we had. And I actually purchased a Verizon plan because I have to have cell service. I felt like we couldn't be in the car all day touring without cell service. Mm -hmm. Paul kept the visible. Now what visible has done since is they've taken that original plan we have. They got rid of party pay. They just raised it five bucks and now you pay $30 for it, but no roaming. And I don't know that I can recommend that plan anymore, even though you still have it. Would you recommend it? Well, yes and no. If It depends on where we were going to be for any length of time. I mean, we were in Door County for a month, so it was, it was a major hassle there. I like paying 25 bucks a month for a phone with unlimited talk and data. You might find that it's not going to work for you. So it's only happened to us that one time. So what Visible has done is they've offered a new plan with roaming, but it's $45. It's still unlimited talk, text, and data. So you may want to look into that because it's still a lot cheaper than, I mean, I'm paying $100, I think, for Verizon. And if you are interested in checking out Visible, we have a special link for you in the description. And our last update is the roof. Uh, roof? <laughs> <laughs> you say it funny. Yeah, I do, don't I? It's roof. Roof. It sounds funny to say roof. Do you say roof or roof? You put it in the comments. Yeah. Let us know. We were pulling into a space about a year and a half ago. I caught a branch of a tree that had just been trimmed, so it was a nice sharp-edged branch. Caught the edge of our roof and tore a 20-foot long gash in the side. Which we put a turnabond on, but then it got us thinking, are we fans of TPO? TPO is like a membrane. Mm -hmm. It's pretty thin. I mean, in the process of doing the repair with the Eternabond, I saw how thick it was, and it's, uh, it's mighty thin. So we did research, and we learned about RV armor and flex armor, and we did a video about both of those. And at the time of the video, we said, we're going to go with RV armor. It's a roll-on rubber roof that they come to you at your campground. That was the decider for us. We thought it's more convenient because they come to you. Versus Flex Armor, which is a franchise, and at the time there were only 15, but now there's 24 locations, but you lose your rig for a few days while you have it in the shop. But what did we learn? We learned that you're going to be out of the rig either way. 
Yeah. When we had it set up originally, we were going to be in Lexington, Kentucky, and they were going to come and do it there. Their, RV Armor. The, the RV Armor, yes, yes. They were going to come to us and do it there. But you can't use your air conditioner while they're doing it. So right. that's three days. Or in our case, we decided to pay extra and have them remove the air conditioner and put, you know, a new seal in and around there. Yeah, and put the RV Armor right up to the AC opening. If you don't have them remove your AC, they're only going to take it as far under the AC as they can reach. Flex Armor is thicker and better, and we said that in the video, but now we see that there's no advantage for us to use RV Armor. So the update is what? We're going with Flex Armor. We're and taking it to the shop in Prescott, Arizona. You're going to be there videoing the process. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you an update on how that goes and how we feel about it. But we'll be in a hotel for three days, so, you know, that's not the end of the world. No, no, we can make the most of that. Yeah. Tell us if you've used any of these products and how you feel about them. That's right. And we'll see you in the next video.